Hello. Welcome to Case of the Day. I'm Dr. Crowley and today we're going to discuss an interesting case uh, that we see fairly common in the office. Had a lady call up um, late last night and we end up seeing her first thing early in the morning at 7.30 who complained of a sudden red eye. And we get these phone calls fairly often and people get really concerned about it because in many cases of how bad their eye looks and uh, over the phone you never know what they're for sure describing but in this case she was said that her eye was red and she was having maybe some slight irritation but she was excited and really wasn't clear about how if her eye was really giving her any trouble other than what she saw in the mirror so she came in this morning and we took a look at her and she has what's called a subconscious tidal hemorrhage so these are pretty common and fortunately in almost all cases don't cause any problem and don't really give us any trouble and there's really no treatment we have to do but um, they can look very bad so what is a subconjunctival hemorrhage so if we look at the eye the white part of your eye is called the sclera and over top of the sclera sits another tissue or membrane called the conjunctiva which contains a lot of blood vessels and this conjunctiva is sort of loosely attached to the sclera. It, is, it does move around some and it contains a lot of blood vessels. And so when people get an eye infection, which she thought she might have an eye infection because her eye was red, these blood vessels get enlarged and your eye turns red with an eye infection, but it's, it's not blood, it's actually the blood vessels have enlarged from inflammation from the infection. So, um, in this particular case, what happens with a conjunctival hemorrhage or subconjunctival hemorrhage is that probably she rubbed her eye at some point or maybe even her sleep. And when she did, she broke a blood vessel on the surface of the eye and then it bleeds underneath that coating and just can spread around the white part of the eye and um, hers was not very severe or bad and probably in about a week it will go away uh, but we do have some people who come in with very large subconjunctival hemorrhages especially people who are on Coumadin whose blood is very thin so when they have a hemorrhage or you see bru they get bruises easily uh, they get very large subconjunctival hemorrhages and in those cases sometimes they can get so large that it can actually the conjunct have a bulges forward and creates a valley where the cornea starts and that area can dry out and so they can get eye irritation until the blood starts to resolve and go away and so these on these cases we put people on artificial tears to keep their eyes lubricated and uh, make sure that they're uh, refer them back to the doctor to make sure that their uh, coumadin levels are correct that their that their blood is not too thin also people on aspirin or other other things that thin the blood tend to get more of these subconjunctival, subconjunctival hemorrhages and they tend to be a little larger or more severe than someone who is not on any type of blood thinner. The only thing that you would have to make sure that is okay in someone like this is that if the, someone's blood pressure was highly elevated that could possibly cause or contribute to having a subconjunctival hemorrhage and so if you have that it's good to make sure that your blood pressure is okay and unless these were a chronic kept recurring type thing there's really nothing else that needs to be done if they are continuously recurring 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 then you need to refer to your medical doctor to make sure that you don't have a bleeding problem or some blood problem or dysplasia that is going on uh, that would be causing you to bleed easily. But routinely these things are benign, they can look very bad, depending on how much blood is under the conjunctiva they can go away in a week or so, sometimes two, more than two weeks or so if they're very large. But the good thing is, is almost always they're benign. So, if you have any questions about uh, subconjunctival hemorrhages or any other questions, you can contact us through the website. If not, may God bless you with healthy eyes and great vision.